To use a camera pro mode in Samsung Galaxy A05, first let's open our uh, camera app. Then we can enter pro mode uh, by clicking on the more and then there's uh, the pro mode icon right there. Now there's multiple different settings that we can change here. And uh, let's go from here and we'll end at the uh, flashlight or flash. So uh, first is white balance. If you click on it, you can adjust the white balance of your photos using this uh, slider. If you want to change to auto settings, which I strongly recommend is uh, to click on this button right there. Then we have a focus. Right here, I also recommend to go for auto settings, but you can adjust them manually using a slider as well. Then uh, next option is uh, evaluation of your photos. Uh, and uh, this changes uh, the light uh, that can be catched uh, in the photo and you can adjust it using a slider as well. Then there's the shutter speed and uh, you can adjust it for example to last 1 and 12,000 of a second or you can switch to even a 30 seconds photos. So what it does when you capture a photo right now with 30 seconds, uh, you will need to keep your phone as stable as possible during that time as the camera lens will open and it will try to catch as much light as possible into it and uh, then it will take a photo after that. So your photos will be over, over, um, over the brightness limit if you go for 30 uh, seconds of shutter speed. Let me show you that. As you can see, it takes literally 30 seconds to capture that photo. But uh, if you want to photograph something uh, specific and want to catch as much uh, of the detail as possible, make sure to adjust the scenery with uh, proper light and uh, then you can uh, take an amazing photos. Okay, so we have that photo, but honestly, it doesn't matter as it's uh, uh, not uh, visible. Okay, next is ISO. And right here, I also recommend to go for auto, but in some special cases, you can uh, lower your ISO to 50. And uh, with, along with it, you can increase the speed for your shutter or aperture. And uh, then uh, the ISO will be lowered so that your uh, camera shutter speed can be increased. So you can manage those two settings together. Experiment with that and you will get the best results. Uh, keep in mind that when you use ISO, the evaluation is uh, turned off. So we're gonna change to auto and then we can move to the rest of those settings. So we have the uh, camera uh, metering and you can switch between uh, three different meterings and each is described for a perfect photo. So we have the first one right here, center weighted metering, good for close up, uh, portraits and centered subjects. Then there's the matrix metering, good for broad, well landscaped. And uh, then there's spot metering, good for backlight objects and high contrast photos. Uh, then there's the aspect ratio that you can change. Keep in mind that changing aspect ratio in most of the cases will also lower the qu overall quality of your photos. So if you want the best results, stay with 3.4. Then there we can add the camera timer. There's also the, uh, the flash, you can enable or disable it. And then there's the rest of the settings for your camera. And that is everything on how to use Pro Mode.